Yes, I know this is a day late, but guess what? Time is of the essence, and it's just something that other humans made up. So we meet again. So today you're gonna hear a little bit of what comes out of my mind in my sleep, and be prepared, they're kind of weird. So I have an app where I just record down as many dreams as I can think of. And I've been doing it for about two months now, and I've had around 10 dreams, but some are like actually a sentence long. And then I have other ones that sound like this. I'm with my friends Emma in London in a big field with no grass. The whole class is here and there are two holes being dug into the ground. They're about 20 feet wide and 10 feet deep, and yes, those are accurate. When I looked away from one of the holes to talk to Emma in London, the second hole magically had a tornado inside of it, and the kids were in there. There's a fence with the two holes, so I jump across and sit down next to the fence in a tree, and I start digging into the ground around me, trying to cover myself with protection so I stay put. Emma's with me, but when I turn around to see London, there's another tornado coming towards her that looks like it's gonna go into the other hole. Spoiler alert, it does. But then one of the yellow machines that dig started digging into the first hole. Okay, so yellow machine, you know those construction things that you see around the road? That's the only thing I could think of. I slowly sink to the bottom with the rest of the class who somehow are alive. I woke up after. If you know someone who is a dream therapist, please explain to me what my dream means. Um, right now I'm concluding with I'm scared of holes and wind. Alright, do you guys ever have that time when you have like multiple dreams because you fall asleep multiple times throughout the day? This is what happened with me. I'm a fish in an ocean, almost like inside a fish game because there are borders and you eat more fish to level up and evolve. So I'm swimming around trying to run away from what looks like a dinosaur through some pipes. And then I got eaten and I said game over. I woke up, went back to sleep. I'm at American Eagle, trying to return a denim jacket that I really liked in real life but couldn't get in time, yet I have it with me. I know this isn't me, but you guys ever experienced dreams where like the subject of the dream is something you experienced that day or the other day? That's what happens here. My friend Maddie is with me, but she left because I told her to. When I asked the lady for a return, she somehow pulled up a picture of me at some show with the jacket on and it proved that I actually wore it for some time before returning it. And this actually sounds like a denim jacket that I did wear for around a month with the tag behind it until I decided to return it. For some reason, Maddie told the lady that I'm 11 years old and she's 26 and the lady believed her. I guess that's saying that on the inside, I am 11 years old and other people are adults around me. So I still get my refund, but it's taken a while. And then I realized that she was on an email that shows what to say if a customer customer says this kind of thing, and that email was supposed to be mass sent to all the employees. I noticed that she was editing the answers into snotty, annoying, not caring answers that were very rude. So I called her out on it, and the woman who was working behind her heard and fired the lady. While she was leaving, I said to Maddie, this is the possessed side of me when I'm angry, because yesterday, in real life, we were talking about that. Maddie responded with, I know, same, and then I said, I can't wait to make a video of when I fired two employees from American Eagle. The dream ends there, but I don't know who else I fired, but I know it was from a second dream. Alright, I'm gonna save some of their dreams for maybe a later video if you guys really like this kind of one-on-one, -on -one, one to two thousand people kind of chit-chat. But the next dream has been so imprinted in my mind that I don't need my phone for this. And I've experienced the same dream twice already. So I'm at a carnival with my friends in Philadelphia, and it's pretty fun. We're doing normal carnival things, and then it ends and it's around like 7 o'clock and it's night. All of my friends go off in cars, and I'm going home on my bike. Which, realistically, I don't think I could ever make it to Philadelphia on a bike. So I'm biking home, and for some reason, I think a cop texts me on my phone. I don't know how he has my number, but it's a dream. Telling me that there are people who are gonna kidnap me and are currently 18 minutes away from me. So all I can think of is in Stranger Things when the three boys are running away from the cop cars on bikes. So it's pitch black and I know it's raining and I'm biking as hard as I can to run away from said cars who are 18 minutes away from me and I come across a shop that looks like a gas station. I go in and there's this really nice man who greets me well and for some reason I buy some bracelets from him. As in these kinds of bracelets. I accidentally leave my bike outside of the store and I realize that the kidnappers are here. So I ask the man, can I hide inside the back of your store? I'm going into the back of the store where there's just a bunch of hallways. Almost like a maze where you're in one door and there are three other doors waiting for you. So I'm going through all the doors, forgetting to close them behind me, and I come across this closet where there are clothes. So I go into the clothes and I hide in the very corner of the closet. So I close the door and it's pitch black and now I'm just listening to the kidnappers come for me. The first time I had the dream, it was a man, and the second time, it's a woman. Their time is going to be gender not conforming. So slowly I can hear them opening doors, coming closer towards me, and then the woman opens my door 
door because of course she knows where I am. And I remember right before she opened it, I told myself to wake up because I knew I was in a dream. So then the woman said, get out, Frederick. I know you're in there. And I just said no. Then I took a bike that was next to me and I slammed it across her chest, not like hitting her, just stopping her. She doesn't fight back, which I don't know why, but I somehow run out of the door and I start sprinting out of the doors, trying to get my way back to my bike. And with the woman came like 15 other men and black people. And the woman told them to come after me. But since I'm little and I'm really fast, I guess I outran them somehow. And when I got back to the store owner, I said, can you stall them for a little bit so I can run away? And he said, sure. So I ran out with the bracelets in my hand also. And then I got on my bike and drove away, rode away. So they couldn't follow me because for some reason a bike outruns a freaking police car. And for some reason, while I was biking, I was snapchatting my friends, and I quote, almost got kidnapped streaks. And I think that just reflects how addicted I am to Snapchat. And then somehow I'm on the street where I live and I come home, and then that dream ends and I wake up. So the only thing I can get from that dream is that one, I should stop being on Snapchat too much. Two, these are good luck charms for some reason, which if you guys don't know, I wear these a lot because I could treat them as good luck charms. Three, I'm gonna get kidnapped soon. And four, tornadoes can fall into holes for some reason. Reason. All right, so those are some of my dreams. You got to explore what happens in this mind. Um, and now I'm gonna be lazy and upload this on Sunday, which I'm sorry once again. I'm not sorry, actually. If you enjoyed this video, like, leave a comment down below about one of your dreams, if you remember them. And subscribe, and I'm not even gonna say what days I post, because I don't follow a schedule anyways. All right, I love you guys, and everything is less than three.